Hey guys, I'm Stephanie Ganowski, sexologist and sex coach for men. And in this video, I want to shine a light on why it's so important to have daily acts of intimacy and how these daily acts don't have to be monumental things. Acts of intimacy on a daily basis do not have to take a long time, hardly at all. A six second kiss, that takes six seconds. There's a big difference between a peck and a kiss that lasts six seconds. There's an actual intimacy build up there. There's an opportunity for oxytocin to be released, which is a bonding hormone. So that six seconds makes a major difference and it's only a few more seconds. That's not a lot of your time. If you switch simply just that one thing, you will see change in the way you connect with your partner. Hugging is the same thing. If you hug her closer and a little tighter and actually put a little more effort into holding her when you go in for a hug, just a few, like 20 second hug, I think is like the oxytocin equivalent of the six second kiss. Just holding her and actually just staying there, maybe swaying a little bit back and forth. This makes a really big difference when it comes to feeling loved and feeling emotionally connected. And that emotional connection leads to a higher sense of trust and safety. And that leads to crazy craving more intimacy that is more vulnerable and more erotic, such as the act of sex. All right, so we have longer hugs, we have longer kisses. Doing things for your partner, like going out of your way to do the little things. And, and this should be mutual. I'm not saying the man should be in charge of doing all this. I'm just saying if you wanna build intimacy daily by doing little tiny things, this makes a huge difference for your sex life. Another example is my boyfriend orders food. If he sees that we're running out of grapes, he knows I love grapes, so he won't even and ask me if I want more grapes, like he'll know when I want them because they're running low. He just adds them to the list. And that's like a cute little thing where it's like, oh, he knows I love my grapes. And like, he's always on, st on top of keeping the grapes in our checkout, right? It's something so silly and maybe it's just like, oh, big deal. But I feel loved by him when he does that. And that's something that he's shopping anyway. All he does is hit a button that says grapes. That's it. It's the thought. It's like him putting me into consideration and it's the little things. Maybe another act of intimacy that is really small, doesn't have to be a big deal, is just checking in with your partner. Asking her, hey, like, I know that you were stressed about that thing last week. How did it work out? Do you feel okay about it now? You want to talk to me? You know, that simple little question. Or maybe not even going down the route of opening up a stress conversation, but going down the route of a memory you two share. Maybe you're cooking dinner together and you just randomly say, babe, remember when we did this like three years ago? Oh my God, that came up today. I was thinking about it and I was laughing hysterically. I thought I was gonna text you, but oh my God, wasn't that so fun? And you just bring up this memory randomly that the two of you shared and had a lot of fun with or a sexy time with, or you really appreciated her for doing that. So it's like bringing up random memories is something that you can do easily while you're cooking dinner and either you're silent or you're talking about stressful things. Switch up the conversation. Talk about things that elicit emotions that you actually want to be feeling and that emotions that lead to passion or love, the little acts of intimacy don't have to be huge. If you could just pick one a day and really keep track of just doing one a day and notice within a month's time, like what happens. It's easier for you to talk to your partner. You might notice your partner comes to you and initiates loving acts of affection to you more. You might notice that you're having more conversations about fun times or about planning fun things in the future. It's about consistency and putting in just that tiny bit of effort to keep a consistency in your intimacy so that you have a consistency in your sex life. So hope this helps. I will see you in the next video.